Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. Today's show is going to be very exciting. We're going to be talking to Ivy Wells in Berlin about the Arts and Entertainment District and all the stuff going on there. We're also going to reach out to Kara Lacey with the town of Pocomoke City. And we've of course got secrets on the way and Rena Thaler with the Art League of Ocean City. So enjoy the show. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. I have a very special guest with me today. Many of you may know him, Al Hondo Handy. Very special friend to Ocean City and the entire county, of yeah. course. If you don't know a Hondo, I don't know. <laughs> but a very near and dear also to my heart, of course. You know, you, you've been a part of my kids up at rec, the rec center right. and all that stuff. So, oh, yeah. um, But uh, Hondo, you did something special for us. You kind of yes. gave us a, a, a book that you just wrote. And what we wanted to talk about today is just kind of what inspired you to write this book and um, talk a little bit about that. Well, um, my inspiration came actually from my, my family. <clears throat> I wanted everyone to, especially my, the younger youth coming up in my family, to know all about me and also about their, their aunts and uncles, everybody, their past family members. Then I wanted to talk about what inspired me along the way, which was sports. As a, I got a lot of information and, and, and mentorship from my uncles and my brothers. And then, of course, I want to talk about my 40-year career here, <laughs> here at Ocean City Recreation Department. Well, and you know, one of the things that you've really, um, you know, championed over the years was sportsmanship. And I know that you really do a lot with sportsmanship awards and things of that nature. And I think it's such an important part of our children's lives. And you know, the fact that you've been here for our kids for so many years, it's just outstanding. And when you say defying expectations, you know, what does that mean? Well, I talk about all the, a lot of the things that uh, stood in my path and some of the goals that I had set in my life. And, um, you know, when, when you, a lot of people uh, in the past have uh, equated success to where you grew up and um, uh, what you had when you, when you were young, which we didn't have the greatest living conditions. And I wanted to uh, uh, defy their expectations of that. And then, of course, when I was, because I got into sports and I loved the game of basketball and I was so short, <laughs> everyone said, hey, Hondo, you cannot play basketball in high school. You not, can, cannot play in in uh, college and I, I wanted to prove them wrong and um, defy their expectations of me. Yeah, well I think that your story is an inspiration to all and we hope that people will come and pick up the book and read it. I can't wait, I just got my signed copy today yes. and I'm gonna give it to my teenage boys to read as well and <laughs> oh, I think good. that your message is just so wonderful for not only for our young people but for people that might be looking to you know do something different i know we're all in a different environment now so um if they want to get the book defying expectations where do they go well it's, it's available on amazon and barnes and noble but right at this moment um it's what you call pre-sale they won't be available to october the, the 20th but you can go to my publishers uh at my link which is store dot uh baby bookbaby.com and you can get it in five days. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. And keep a lookout um, on our Facebook page, uh, on you know different uh, media around around Worcester County and Ocean City, because I know you're doing some pop-up book signings here and there. Yes. So we'll uh, you know keep an eye out for that, and we'll share that on our social media so people can get out and see you in person and get a signed copy. Yes, and you also can get it on at uh, the Buzzword up in North Ocean City by, I think, 120th Street. Oh, wow, fantastic. Yes. Well, thanks so much, Honda. Thank we really appreciate much. you, and we appreciate you giving this gift to us. I appreciate you having me. Thank you. Water damage can cause serious problems at your home or business. At Royal Plus, we have decades of experience serving commercial and residential properties. If your property has water damage, call Royal Plus at 866-404-7587. Hey everyone, welcome to the Ocean City Center for the Arts. My name is Rena Thaler, Executive Director of the Art League of Ocean City. I'm here to tell you why art matters this month 
brought to you by Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. And I'm joined by Megan, now low, <laughs> Megan Burek, Megan Low now. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and who's our education assistant and social media coordinator. And we're gonna tell you a little about what you could expect to find in the galleries this month at the Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street. So Megan, I'm so excited, everything looks so cool in here. Yes. You have got to come in and see these shows. Yes. Tell so us about it. So we have a building-wide exhibition this month um, called Assemblage Required. Um, so downstairs we have um, nine featured artists um, and then upstairs we have a group show as well. And these pieces are absolutely amazing. One They're of a They're all kind. like made out of found objects. Mm -hmm. So it's not your typical paintings and... Yeah, uh, and not your typical mixed media either. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a lot of pretty unique and amazing stuff this month so mm -hmm. definitely come down and check it out and this is all curated by deborah rollig and diane gray the two of them are just so creative they they can knock it out of the park every time oh my god it's amazing mm -hmm. yeah. so something to really explore in every nook and cranny here at the art center but then in addition to all this whimsical pieces that we have in the galleries we have a really kind of a serious show yes. but one that's so powerful mm -hmm. and so meaningful and it's called stigma highlighted and yes. what can you tell us about that yes um, so stigma highlighted portraits of recovery is upstairs in our studio e gallery um, we had 12 artists create portraits of recovering addicts um, and then we have videos telling their stories we mm -hmm. had them interviewed um, and they went through and told their stories of um, addiction and recovery um, and we are also working with Debbie Smallin of Worcester Goes Purple. Um, so that's an amazing show, so definitely check that out. Mm -hmm. So it's really the portraits of the people who have faced battled addiction, whether it's narcotics addiction and um, or addiction from opioids, alcoholism yeah. or opioids, mm -hmm. right? And then the really cool thing is that the interaction between the artist and the person who was telling their story. And we were able to, as you said, interview each one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give a shout out to Unseen Productions for um, doing an awesome video work for that. Yes. But so people can go up to the painting and actually scan the QR code. Mm -hmm. And it's like the painting is coming to life and you can hear the voices and see the people talk about yeah. how they battled and, and how addiction could affects everybody mm -hmm. and can affect people that you know and don't realize. Yeah, um, it could be your neighbor, anybody, it doesn't, you know, we're trying to battle the stigma of mm -hmm. it. So. And, and then the really powerful part of it will travel to the schools mm -hmm. afterwards because um, we were able to create a 15 minute school video mm -hmm. where the people talk right to the students and tell them why they shouldn't get involved. Yes. And uh, folks can see all that here at the Art Center this month. Yes. Um, but we're actually going beyond the walls of this building this month, <laughs> yes. um, out to the Ocean City Performing Arts Center for a really cool show called Outrageous. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so that's also a one-of-a-kind show. Um, it's very interactive as well. Um, there's a rock concert involved, and um, it's very steampunk inspired. Uh, uh, they sing, paint, dance, yes. and you do like live painting right on stage. Yeah. It's almost like a blue man group type of thing. Yes, exactly. and, um, so it'll, the dates for it are? Um, October 23rd at 6 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center. And you can get tickets right at the Art League here, um, at the Convention Center, or online as well. Mm -hmm. All right, they're on Ticketmaster as well. Mm -hmm. So come on out, come to the gallery, see us here this month. Check out the Stigma Project highlighted. We also have our own website for that, stigmahighlighted.com. And then see us at the Ocean City Performing Arts Center, Sunday, October 23rd for Outrageous. We're open here at 94th Street, seven days a week, year-round. Check us out, artleagueofoceancity.org. Sign up and win up to a cool 500 and free play instantly. <laughs> oh, shell yeah. Reel in big jackpots via shark at the tables. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. I have with me today Susan Jones, Executive Director with the Hotel Motel Restaurant Association. And we are on the beautiful bay here 
right next to the convention center. Not many people realize what an amazing view it is from the convention center. You can hear here the water laughing. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of great events all, yes. all winter long going on at the convention center, but we're here to talk about fall and then going into winter. It's the most beautiful time of year here in Ocean City and in Worcester County. And something new this year is Sunfest has been moved. The dates are different. So right. there was a lot of uh, talk about it, but I think all in all, it's going to be awesome. You know, there was so much anticipation like, oh gosh, we're changing the date. It's October 20th to the 23rd. But honestly, it is packed full of awesome activities. So you've got Thursday, there's all kinds of things like drone shows on the beach. And then Friday is Bike the Beach with a Mayor's Boardwalk bike ride. There are fireworks, there's a beach maze. Sunday is the pet, pet day. Parade, yeah. And so all of the elements of Oktoberfest, OC Toberfest, have been packed into Sunfest. And the best thing is all of the entertainment is totally free, <laughs> completely free. So you've got the beach maze, you have hay rides on the beach, there are some pumpkin activities. It really is going to be truly amazing. And the best thing is all of the activities you can find on the website mm -hmm. and click on each day because there's too much to mention here. We don't have very much time, <laughs> Melanie. But I know. there really are some awesome, and awesome activities. And super family friendly. You yes. know, that's the cool thing. And that's why OC Toberfest was started to begin with to really add some family element to that. Right. And now that we're able to combine it, it's really fantastic. I so. can't wait to go honestly know, it's I'm just so gonna excited. be great yeah. and it's you know again October is a beautiful time of year and um, not to mention the week after is yeah sure craft beer fest at right. Sunset Park on October 29th and if you've uh, never been to Sunset Park that again is just such an amazing beautiful. destination it overlooks the inlet and when the Sun starts to set so pretty we have gorgeous spots here in Ocean City don't I we know, it's so, so that's amazing. what shorecraftbeerfest.com I believe yes yeah. yes yeah. yes and fall is a good time to travel because all the hotel rates come down quite a bit, yeah. you know? It's just a great time to travel and the weather's always beautiful. I know, if we could have many days like this, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we pray for that. Um, but you know, as we lead out of October and into November, of course, we talk about Winterfest. Can't forget Winterfest. So can't, can't forget Winterfest. Yeah. And that has been such a, an amazing event for Ocean City. It begins the middle of November and it goes through New Year's Day. And the entire town participates now. Yes. You know, it used to be just up at Northside Park and with COVID and everything, um, they started to do it where you could walk through it. So yes. you can actually walk through And I think a lot Winterfest. of people loved it more because you spent more time there. You weren't just on a quick tram ride. You're mm -hmm. walking with your family. You bundle up. A lot of fun. And then you get the hot cocoa, of course. Of Can't course. The hot cocoa. Of course. <laughs> and I know the chamber does a decorating contest too to coincide yes. with that. And, and uh, I believe really, in the visitor center this year, there's going to be a new little train oh, element built right. in the Ocean City Visitor Center. So that's going to be cool too. And there's yeah. a lot of other things going on around the county, right? Yeah. Yes, every one of our towns, Snow Hill, Pocomoke, Berlin, they really get into the festivities for the holiday season. We light up Maryland's coast, we like to yeah. call it. Um, but the, between the parades, I know yeah. Berlin has Ice Ice Berlin. Um, Snow Hill is actually going to have an ice rink right on the Pocomoke River. Fun. And that's going to be a synthetic ice rink that they get to enjoy. Um, and of course, all of the festivities down in Pocomoke City. So really don't stop coming just no. when, when and the winter know, hits. Winter is so. when we have all the great restaurant deals yes, too. Yes. You can't beat the restaurant deals. I know. This is such yes. a great place to come in our second season. Yep. So for more information, you can visit ococean.com for all the events, everything to do, and just really come and enjoy Ocean City and Worcester County. And welcome to Secrets Jamaica, USA. We are located at 49th Street in Ocean City, Maryland, and are open Thursdays at 4 p.m. and Friday through Sunday at 11 a.m. Enjoy lunch or dinner in our tropical indoor bayside dining areas. We have happy hour from 4 to 7 and great dinner specials on Thursdays and Sundays. Or have a night out with live entertainment Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. 
We've got the area's best bands and DJs performing on our Tiki stage or in the famous Morley Hall nightclub. Watch all of the Sunday football games at Secrets on our jumbo screen with stadium sound and enjoy a bite to eat off of our tailgate menu. Halloween is just around the corner and we're throwing our annual party and costume contest with three bands and three live DJs. The stakes are high and the best costume will win a trip for two to Jamaica. Arrive early because the judges will be walking around to select the contestants. Let's head next door to Secrets Distillery where they've been working non-stop to bring you all the award-winning Secret Spirits. Distillery tours are available on Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. See how we make our spirits and learn about the Prohibition era with over a million dollars of antiques from the early 1900s. Tours are $15 and include three tastings of your choice. Make your reservations at secretsdistilling.com. The Atlantic Beverage Center, located at 51st Street in Secrets Parking Lot, has all your needs covered for liquor, beer, and wine. Stop in from 2 to 5 and take 10% off everything in the store, including Secrets Ready to Drink Cocktails, Orange Crush, Electric Lemonade, and Big Bamboo. Now available are Secret Spirits in 1.75 liter and 375 milliliter bottles. So you've got a big and small now to choose from for spice drum, lemon drop, orange vodka, and our regular vodka. And make sure you take advantage of the Secret Distilling Bottle Buyback Program. Bring in an empty bottle of Secret Spirits and get $2 off your next Secret Spirits purchase. We hope to see you soon at Secrets, Secrets Distillery, or the Atlantic Beverage Center. Find us and get lost. Visit Secrets Jamaica, USA, and make any day the perfect getaway. Join us for delicious eats in our Bayfront dining area. And treat yourself to a tropical drink or local craft beer under the palms. Then, when the sun goes down, the fun heats up. Home to the Morley Hall nightclub, Secrets is your entertainment hotspot with live music every night. Secrets Jamaica, USA. Find us and get lost. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Michelle with the Office of Tourism and Economic Development at Maryland's Coast here in Worcester County. And we're here today to talk about Harbor Day coming up on October 15th from 10 to 3. And I am joined by Tyler with Worcester County Rec and Parks and also with Sunny with the Skilligilly. So today is going to be full of knowledge about this fun event, and we look forward to seeing you coming up soon. Tyler, if you could tell us all about the events that are going to be happening. Yep. So like Michelle said, Harbor Day is going to be on October 15th from 10 to 3. We're going to have some great entertainment with bands such as Trinidad and Tobago, a steel drum band, and then we'll have the Pramila Project closing out the day with um, just some, some good entertainment and, and good uh, vibes. For this event, we will have a free shuttle service coming um, with the parking being limited at the docks. You will have to park kind of closer to the park and ride, but we will provide a free shuttle from the park and ride over to the actual event. Um, we'll have some good food there and some great activities for the kids and families to enjoy with uh, some hair wraps, some sand art, and, and plenty of other activities for the family. And we'll have a maritime heritage kind of band, the Jolly Tars there, kind of greeting and welcoming everybody to the event. Um, we hope to see you there, bring the family, bring the kids, bring all dogs. That sounds great. And also, we, you can get all the information from harbordayoc.com. And actually, Sunny, you are full of knowledge about all the heritage. Can you give us a little? Yeah, thank you, Michelle. Sure. We, um, yep, we, we're down there at the Commercial Harbor. We've been feeding people for a lot of years down there, and it's really nice to have the public come out and see what we do, look at the boats, Maybe come down and look at, get on some of the boats and check them out. We'll have uh, some demonstrations on some of the environmental things that we're doing. Um, it's a great thing to come down and see and it's free. And it really is fun with the touch tanks too. That is one thing that I love about it. Can you explain that? Yeah, we have a, we'll have a tank there with some of the species we catch locally. Um, hopefully some, maybe some lobster and maybe this year we'll even have some shrimp down there. <laughs> Let's hope. That would be wonderful. Well, once again, it is October 15th from 10 to 3. Um, be sure to be there at 10 a.m. That will be the blessing of the fleet, so you don't want to miss that. And you can go to harbordayoc.com to get more information. Sophia's Italian Restaurant in Ocean City serves lunch and dinner with specialty dishes prepared by our chef Salvatore. Homemade, delectable dishes like...
carry out, delivery, or dine in. Sophia's Italian Restaurant. How are you? My name is Anthony, and this is Courtney beside me. We're down here on 16th Street on the boardwalk at the Ocean City Rum Shack, and we're going to sit here and talk about some specials that we have coming up, some really fun and exciting things that we're going to be running here. So I'm going to pass it over to Courtney. She'll tell you some events that are coming up. All right. We have Malibu Mondays. You, you come to 6th Street Street in the boardwalk at Ocean City Rum Shack. You buy a Malibu cocktail. I mean, you can have a Bay Breeze. You can have a Malibu Rum Punch. You can have a Malibu Bay Breeze cocktail in a can. You can can buy any Malibu cocktail and guess what? You get a free t-shirt and you get to tie-dye it any way you like, customize. All right, next thing, Thursdays, we have Smirnoff carnival parties. All right, we have Jenga, we have Pick a Duck, we have Spin the Wheel, and you can win prizes from tumblers to t-shirts to lanyards to any kind of merchandise. And that's what we have Mondays and Thursdays. And guess what? Fridays are even better. Okay, and yeah, let's yes, go. What can, do we have? So you can come in Fiesta with us from 3 to 5 on Fridays. We're going to have a bunch of specials, including Coronas and Margaritas. Taquitos are hot on the grill. We also have... Uh, Oh, Watermelon really punch bowls. We have seafood nachos that pair perfectly with it. We can even enter your name in a raffle to win a pinata full of minis. So that's going to be exciting each and every Friday from 3 to 5. We have a DJ on that day. We have a DJ on Thursday from 1 to 3 for the carnival. We also have a DJ on Monday from 1 to 3 for Malibu Mondays. So there's a lot of live music, a lot of specials, a lot of fun here all summer long. And uh, you can pair it with some wonderful coastal salt food as well. Over here, we briefly mentioned you have the seafood nachos, one of Courtney's favorite. Oh, yeah. We got that true Maryland crab. I mean, true Maryland lump crab meat with fresh jumbo lump shrimp, jalapenos, homemade pico de gallo, homemade queso, guacamole, fresh homemade guacamole. Put Try. that alongside some blackened mahi tacos, house-made chipotle aioli, corn and black bean salsa. That is perfect for any summer day, especially Fiesta Friday. You can even grab a tuna, tagrashi tuna banh mi that we have with a house-made kimchi aioli on there. You have it on ciabatta toasted bread and oh. ahi seared tuna. Hey! Uh, that's Welcome what's the, the best shack. about 16th Street in the boardwalk. We're having a lot of fun. Yes. We have a lot of food to pair with it. We have wonderful beer buckets that you can design. Starting with my favorite, Coastal Love Hazy IPA. We have six different Very frozens different. to pick from, the best you can get on the beach. We have buckets, we have crushes, anything you want. There's plenty of fun down here, plenty of drinks, and plenty of great food coming from Coastal Salt. So come down and have a good time with Courtney and I and all the rest of the wonderful staff here. Oh, nice come seeing to, you guys. See you on 16th Street soon. Coastal Smokehouse, Steaks and Bourbon in West O.C. Coastal Smokehouse, Steaks and Bourbon, Ocean Gateway, West OC. Hello and welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Worcester County Office of Tourism here on Maryland's coast. And I have a guest with me today, Ms. Ivy Wells. How are Hello, you, Ivy? I'm she good. is the Director of Economic and Community Development for the town of Berlin, one of the gems here on Maryland's coast in Worcester County. And we are at a really unique location today we in are. front of Oxer Studios. And so we're gonna talk all things art. The arts are alive in Worcester County and especially in Berlin. In so Berlin. what's going on, Ivy? So we are a designated arts and entertainment district. And what that means is we have a variety of public art. We've got a, a ton of live music venues here. We have right behind us glass blowing studio Studio, Jeff Oxer Designs, uh, another glass blowing studio, Beach Memories. We've got a historical mural, we've got a fun mural, and we have an interactive mural. Oh, wow. And one of our newest and most prominent murals here in Berlin is the Reverend Charles Albert Tindley. We were just recently there for the unveiling, and that is just such a spectacular sight. So kind of how did that come about, and what is the significance there? Sure. Well, what people don't realize is that Reverend Tindley was born here in Berlin. He became famous as the godfather of gospel music, and, and we needed to celebrate that. We needed to showcase who Reverend Tindley was, and we dedicated an entire wall to him 
Um, a local musician wrote a song about him, and it, it's a really special project. We feel very fortunate to be able to work on that. Yeah, and, and at the unveiling, I know the family was here, and it was just such a moving and special time for the residents of Berlin, and then all the visitors that the, come here and, and experience that mural. So it just it, it was a really great opportunity to showcase somebody who meant so much to Berlin, and we we decided to own that he was born here, and I think not Philadelphia, right? <laughs> right, right, he was Berlin born, and the interesting thing about the mural is that everyone got to watch the artist paint the mural while mm -hmm. it was going on, and that was just spectacular. And it looks like that, that wall on Bruder Hill was made for that mural. Yeah. And I know there was a lot of discussion of where does it go and a lot of work went into it and so I think it just turned out perfectly. Yeah, so. it was a beautiful mural. And I know that the Beach to Bay Heritage Area uh, really was instrumental in making that happen and we were kind of a part of that whole initiative and so yes. with tourism and economic development so it's really exciting to see something like that come alive. And you know, speaking of the arts, you know, you can come and experience that in Berlin but also how about the dining? So we have become a culinary destination with a variety of restaurants, bake shops, we have a chocolatier here, ice cream. You can never go hungry in Berlin. Yeah, and, and every time you come, it's a different experience. Completely, sure. completely different every time. And, you know, people like to get ice cream. They walk around at night. They enjoy the beautiful art. Um, the other thing about our downtown shops is that they feature local art in their shops. Mm -hmm. And many of these, many of the artists like to showcase their work in our downtown shops. And the Worcester County Arts Council is right here in Berlin. And so you can go in there, you can become a part of that organization and you can display your art in there. Absolutely. And, and during the farmer's market, uh, the Worcester County Arts Council opens up early and many of the shops opens early too. And the other cool thing is being able to create your own art. I know here at the Glass Blowing Studio, that's a big thing around the holidays. You can create your own ornaments. So you can really be a part of the arts on any level here in Berlin. And for more information, where do people go, Ivy? You can go to BerlinMainStreet.com or specifically about our arts district, you can go to BerlinArtsDistrict.com. Great. Thanks so much. You're welcome. It's Todd from Park Place Jewelers. Summer is here, so let us make it special with a gift of fine jewelry. A spectacular line of sea life and nautical jewelry with designers like Denny Wong and Stephen Douglas. Ocean City sand bracelets, pendants, and rings, so you can take a piece of the beach home with you. Ocean jewelry with Swarovski crystals to light up those Ocean City memories. And special Ocean City Pandora charms. So let Park Place Jewelers put a sparkle in your jewelry collection this summer. Thank you so much for joining us today with Beach and Beyond. We hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to tune in every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. on WMDT.